Good day folks, Sean here from Air Photography. So just a quick little video showing you how to pair the DJI FPV controller version 3 to the Avada 2. If you're brand new and you've just purchased the kit, it's going to come with the DJI RC Motion 3. But if you do prefer a more traditional controller, you do have the option of purchasing their FPV controller. Now before you start the pairing process, it's a good idea to make sure all the firmware is updated on all the devices, including the goggles, the drone, and including the controller. There is firmware available for it as well. Now I've already got mine paired, but I'll just run through the process again. And then after that, we'll take a look at how to put it into manual mode. So just go ahead and power everything on. And then what we're gonna do is press and hold the power button here on the controller. And we're going to wait till it starts to beep. Once it's beeping like that, then we're going to take the goggles and we're going to press and hold the power button on them as well. And on top of that, you can double check in the goggles, make sure there's no error messages. And you can even just move this dial here just to confirm that it is communicating with the drone. I don't know if you can see that there, but the camera is moving up and down. And the other thing to keep in mind is that when you pair the controller to the drone, your Motion 3 controller will remain paired to it as well. So you don't have to go in and repair everything every time. So I'll just show you that here. We'll power off the controller. We'll now power on the Motion 3. And you can see there it's already connected instantly. And again, turn that dial there and you'll see the cameras moving on the drone. We can power this off, power the controller back on, and it's just going to go back and automatically pair. So it's very convenient that way you can switch back and forth very easily. Now if you want to fly in manual mode, a few things you need to do first. Uh, the first thing that's recommended to do is take the tension out of that spring. You want your throttle all the way down. You want to be able to control that manually. And you do so by folding up this rubber flap. When you buy the controller, it comes with a little Allen key that you can go in and adjust the tension of that stick there on the left hand side. The next thing we have to do is adjust a few things in the settings. Let's go ahead here. We'll take a look at the menu quickly. We're going to go down to settings and we're going to go to control. And at the top there, we're going to select remote controller. And we're going to go to our button customization here and you can see in that menu when we scroll to the bottom we have something called custom mode and that's basically our manual mode and then we use that toggle switch that custom mode is when we press it down you can see there's an m there so that's what we're going to be assigning manual mode to so if we go back to the menu here we're going to select that and we're going to put in manual mode we'll confirm that so that's basically it. All you have to do now is switch it down to the M mode for manual. And then once you've put it into manual mode, it's going to ask you to do a stick command, line up some dots, and that's just to make sure you're ready to go. Now, one last thing about manual mode. Once we've enabled manual mode, there's still going to be some limits to it and what it can do. They limit the angle of the drone when it's in flight, and that prevents you from accidentally flipping over when you don't mean to as you're learning. But you can go in and disable that, and that way you have full manual control if you want to do flips and dives and rolls. And to do so, again, we go to our settings, we go back to control, we'll select remote controller, and this time we're going to go over to gain and expo. We'll select that, and then down there near the bottom, you see it says M mode attitude limit. It's going to give you a little bit of a warning there that you should really learn manual mode before you disable it. But we're going to hit confirm. So at this point, you'll then have full control of the drone up in the air. You can put it in any position you want. The other thing you can do from the screen is adjust your rates. Now, I'm not going to get into that in this video because it can be kind of complicated. Everybody likes different types of rates. And if you're just learning, these stock rates are just fine. If you want to learn more about them, there are a lot of YouTube videos that go over them and what they do and uh, can help you decide what rates are best for you. So that's basically it, folks. That's how you pair the DJI FPV RC version 3 to the DJI Avada 2 and how you can enable manual mode by setting the customization of that button. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.